breakfast is served. So we've got our, just a stir, a bowl of oats and two bananas. Let's go. All right guys, ready to go to the gym now. We've got our pre-workout. I'm gonna try this one out. I have used this before. That's the ingredients panel, if you can see that. It's pretty good pre. It's actually dosed really well, like citrulline malate. <laughs> the hell? Six grams. Creatine, five grams. Beta. B I oh, don't know. Is I thought it was beta alanine. Oh, there's beta alanine, 2.4 grams. Caffeine, 350. And then it's got like your BCAAs in leucine, isoleucine, and valine. So it's actually deced decently. A deced decently. <laughs> Dosed decently. Alright, also before training, we're going to get some protein in. So this is another sample I picked up at Body Power and it's that flavor right there. So what have we got in here then? Per serving, per sachet, we've got 10 grams of protein. So it's not much, but you know, it's just a little kick before we train. Not that we need a kick, we just wanna bang some protein in. Oh my God, what have we got here? All right, Mum, you're going to have to get the ambulance ready. Why? Because I'm about to kill this workout. It is Greg Lock Fitness and you're joining me in the gym, in the little bag area. So first of all we're going to say we've got the French chain amino acids and we've had the pre-workout. I wasn't supposed to record today, it's supposed to be a cardio and core day, but I thought I need to get the content out and I want to get the content out and I want to hit chest again. So it, it will be cardio and core and then chest and triceps. So what we're going to do today is chest and triceps and then we're going to do cardio and core at the end. We might show a few clips of that, but we're still getting the cardio and core in. It is a hard session, so it's going to be a really long workout. So let's get started on bench press. Enjoy the voiceover. Yo, 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 yo! First exercise, guys, bench press. We did it, 105 kilograms, five sets, five reps. Well, we got three sets of it, and then we dropped it down to 100 kg, and then got the remaining two sets. But this actually felt really good. I've got good bar speed there as well. Listen to a bit of nines. Into the incline dumbbell press. Now, this is an interesting one. In my gym, there's 40 kilogram dumbbells and then there's 46 kilogram dumbbells. Therefore, I have to jump to 46 to make a weight progression. So, I put 46 on. I got eight reps, which was really impressive after benching, five times five. And then what I did was a little rest pause and then I tried to get two more. I only rest paused for 15 seconds. So, I got one and then, as you'll see, I'll get the... Uh, half but look at that there how hard it is but i don't let it beat me that's that's what you have to do you have to teach your buddy now it's going up even if it takes you five seconds to get the rep you got to teach your buddy it doesn't beat you and always come down really slow on the negative all right here's the one so that's one rep there on the 46 again and then i go for another sometimes it's impossible to beat it just moved up to 46s then managed to get eight reps 15 second rest pause got one more really slow rep really struggled rep and then uh, got half a rep, so that's nine and a half reps on 46, which is up from last week. Then got 42s or 44s here, so trying to get the next two sets at least on 40, and then we're going to move down probably to 36, but we might get all three sets on 40. Let's give me a little rest now. So I know that's basically repeated what I just said in this video. But I like to leave that in there because it shows what I'm like in the gym and how knackered I am and the work ethic that I currently do have in the gym. So yeah, I'm sorry if uh, you don't like it being repeated, but that's just the style that I want to adapt and the style that I want to put into the videos as it shows like both sides of it, me chilled out here doing a voiceover and me absolutely battered. So as you can see, this is my second set, 40 kilograms. Again, don't let it beat you. It's not beating me. So there was eight reps and again, 15 second rest pause, two more reps. Can it be done? So as you can see, straight up, that's one. 
and there's two. So I felt that went up really good. So I thought, why not just get another? So there's three reps. So I did 40 kg for the next one, and then I moved back down to 36. All right, on these flies, I like to have shoulder height when I'm just doing the standard flies. But as you can see, I like to come down and meet in the middle. And after, well, that was awkward. My battery just died. But as I was saying, I think I was saying anyway, after five reps, I like to switch legs and bring the um, cables down towards my stomach slightly. Takes a little stress off the shoulders. On this one, really, really keep your core tight. Don't let your shoulders sway back too much. Keep your head up. Try not to pigeon neck it out. So again, I'll switch legs after five sides and that's for symmetry. All right, last chest exercise we've got flies. On this, I'm actually speaking because some guy's speaking to me that I met in the gym. Uh, was speaking about the Manchester attack and all that. He was Muslim and I was, we were both a green hair. Like, it's, you can't say it's like a religion or a race or anything like that. So we was just having general chit chat. And then he subscribed to the channel. So, K, if you're watching, Brat, thanks a lot. Um, hope you're enjoying the video, mate, and picking up some tips. So, yeah, this is the last chest exercise, 16 kilograms. Pretty nice, pretty easy. So that's chest complete. Feeling great. Beat my scores. I'll show the scores now. And now we're moving on to triceps. First one, score crushers. Let's go and smash every single tricep score we've ever set in our lifetime. Moving on to probably one of my favourite muscle groups, the triceps. So I've never really been a big fan of this exercise. That was Kay, by the way, walking behind me as I'm doing my easy curl. He actually made me do an extra three reps on this as the clip started earlier, but he walked straight in front of the camera. So yeah, I actually did 13 reps in this set. But yeah, I've never really been a big fan, but obviously we increased the weight again, 2.5 kg extra, so 12.5 aside, 10 reps, 4 sets. Second exercise, tricep dips, last time we got 4 times 10 pretty easily, so we're moving on to doing it with a dumbbell between our legs. Also, greet my new friend on my face. <sighs> we are now in the big boy division, adding weight to our dips. I did used to do this before with like a weighted belt, but really when I'm walking 20 minutes to and from the gym, um, I do need to get like a, a bag, um, you know, an actual bag rather than a carrier bag to take my stuff in, which I have got, I just never take it. Um, moving on to tricep extension, single arm here. I am pigeon necking a bit, I'm not quite sure why, but we managed to up the weight and get the reps off. Okay, this is actually my least favourite tricep exercise of this entire plan, and that's because it irritates my shoulders so much, so I was thinking about substituting it out and putting another shoulder, uh, tricep exercise in, but we'll leave it in for this six weeks and I'll just try and like control the form a bit better. In contrast, this is actually one of my favourite exercises. You get a real good squeeze on this and it really stimulates the tricep. Thanks a lot for watching this workout. I hope the voiceover was as good as it was last time and the time before. Thanks a lot for all the comments. Keep the comments coming. I'll answer all diet and nutrition questions that I can. Now, as I'm this cardio on call today, I'm going to eat a banana, which I've got in my bag, and a protein shake, and then I'm going to hit core. So I might throw some core clips in, but I kind of want to leave that so I can do a separate cardio on core, just a one-off, because I don't want to have that in my series sort of thing. I want it to be more muscle building dedicated, although abs is muscle building as well. See you later. See ya. Bye bye. Another session ticked off. Next chest and tricep session I'll be doing is week three. Managed to increase the bench press a whole five kilograms, which I'm pretty happy with for three sets. And then I did 100 for two sets, uh, five reps. And that was actually pretty easy. So I'm walking back now and I am going to show you how to get some cheap products from Sainsbury's, which is probably everyone's local, or Sainsbury's, Morrison's, Tesco. They sell basically the same things with little price differences. But if you can get to a Sainsbury's, I'll show you what to buy if you're looking to do a lean bulk. And some little tips that you might not know, some foods. And we'll see you in time. Okay, our first bargain is couscous, currently on sale, 50p. 
Good old Ainsley Harriet. I'll go with the roasted vegetables. So here are the macros. Really good for carbs and low sugar. Next up we've got these mushy peas. Here are the macros. So for a third of the can, there's 6 grams of protein, therefore there's 18 grams of protein. It's high carbs again, which is good for bulking and low sugar. And I think this is only like, it says 50p, but I swear this is 35p. We'll find out at the end anyway. Alright guys, the best way to go about rice is to buy, obviously like a kilogram, save much more money. So you've got all this to choose from. It's sort of uh, better than going to these microwave ones. Although you can get 250 grams here for 60p. It used to be 50, which would have made it much better. If you need some simple cereal, this is what you're going to go for, bran. £1.80 for one kilogram of it, and that'll last you for ages. Going for efficiency, obviously you can buy this, 20 grams of protein in it. But if you're going for cash, it's better to buy a tub of protein and buy the actual oats. So here are the oats, a kilogram for £2. That's what I'll go for. Scott's porridge oats, old fashioned. No nonsense. If we're going for a little cheat, you know, a little refeed day, I always opt for this. £1.20, thin and crispy, sweet chilli pizza. They're the macros. If you can see that. There we go. If you eat a lot of bread, obviously, come up to this reduced pie here. And that's like a nice 36p saving right there. You got bagels and all that in there at the top. So I always look for the clearance aisle. Instead of buying loads of bread, I always opt for one of these freshly baked in Sainsbury's. Normally go for just a plain one, 55p, and that'll last me about 20 minutes. All right guys, these are really good when they're on sale. Normally a pound on sale, but only one pound 20. So I've got all different ones. I'm gonna say the best ones to go for is red onion and chive, or obviously the classic cinnamon and raisin. Really good macros. All right guys, I personally don't drink dairy milk, and I can hear the cows crying right now. But if we are going for milk, and if you do drink dairy milk, Sainsbury's actually do this protein milk, where there's added protein, but I don't really recommend drinking dairy milk because it's got so many hormones in it. Unfortunately, at the moment, Sainsbury's haven't got any of the fresh almond milk, but if I was going for milk, it would be almond, and the, not that one, so they've got that one, but I normally get the unsweetened, and it's one pound eighty in Tesco, it's only a pound. All right guys, here's a little tip for you, if you need extra protein in your diet, Come here into the yogurt so and get these. 1.50 for four, they've got like seven grams of protein per yogurt. And you can just throw it in a shake, blends really well. All right, we're coming up to the all important salad sections and vegetables. So as you can see here, extra large avocado, 1.75. Or you can get four ripen at home ones, which take ages to ripe for 1 pound 85. Or four for 340. That's quite cheap, but Tesco, I think, is the best place for an avocado. We can get one for about 50, 60 per. Remember, the same with the bread. Always come to the clearance section to see if there's anything that you want or you need. You never know what's going to be in there. This is my personal favourite section due to these sweet potatoes. So it's a pound per kilogram. I'm not too sure how that compares to others. But damn, these look a bit weird today. They're very purple. So we're going to smash some of these in this. And finally, in the fruit and vegetables, we go for these bananas. They're actually looking pretty ripe compared to usual. So we're going to get about five of those to eat. Uh, probably even more today. They look good. Alright guys, that's for your protein. These are pretty good. Um, 2 pound 40 I think you get like 8 in there. They're also pretty good. It's quite low in fat and you can always cut the fat off. They're extremely low in fat there. Normally what I go for is just this. I'm probably getting ripped off each time. I could be going to a place like Muscle Food and that, but it's just like for convenience. It's easy to just come in and buy it. Then again, it's easier to just smash it in the freezer, isn't it? So Muscle Food is something that I will be looking at. Again, remember the clearance section. They have clearance section for meat as well. If there's anything in there that you fancy or that you can fit into your macros, just get it. There's four big sweet potatoes for £1.83. Three chicken fillets, £2.30. Uh, the white baton was 55p. The mushy peas were actually 50p. And the roast veg couscous, 50p. So it's not too hard to do. I mean, that comes to £6.35, but that's going to last me. Look, like, I'm not going to eat all four sweet potatoes today. That's gonna, the sweet potatoes are over like two days. Uh, the turkey could be over two days as well. So, you know, just try and bulk by if you can as well. Thanks a lot for watching, guys. Good chest and tricep session. It's now time to edit the video and do the voiceover. 
Subscribe for more videos, subscribe to stay tuned with this series. I've emailed the plane a few more times as well to other people that have asked for it, so hopefully there's more people, you know, participating in the plan. A guy's are speaking to me in the gym today, I gave him some tips and that. Hopefully he jumps on it as well. Thanks a lot for watching, guys.